The day in Madden 23, I attempt to build a perfect team that will go 20 and 0 and win the Super Bowl. The way I will build this team is quite simple. I will spin this wheel of NFL teams and pick a player from every position until the team is filled. Then throughout the regular season, every game this team plays and wins, I can steal a player from the opposing team. However, if this team loses a game, I must trade three players to the team we lost to. So I'm spinning the wheel for the first time. Let's see which player which position? What are we adding to the team first? And we have the Vikings, so you know we're adding Justin Jefferson to this team. So I have my wide receiver one, and we can still get players on the Minnesota Vikings. We can get other positions as well. Next up is either going to be the 49ers or the Vikings again. I'm hoping it's the 49ers. It is. We can go Kittle, McCaffrey. We can go with the defense, the O-line. I'm going to go with the defense. And feel free to let me know in the comments down below. If you got these wheel spins, which players, which positions would you use for some of these teams? Up next, it's going to be the Giants. So I'm happy we didn't take McCaffrey because now we can add Saquon Barkley. So we have a defense. We have a wide receiver. We have a running back. What is the next position? Are we going to get the Colts? I got to check out their O-line, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with Jonathan Taylor here to give our backfield of Barkley and Jonathan Taylor. I am liking the way this team is looking so far. What is the next team we are going to get? Dolphins or Rams? We can add Cooper Cup to this team. I think I might have made a little bit of a mistake now going with the 49ers defense. Obviously, they're very good, but I would have liked to have gotten George Kittle from the 49ers and use the Rams defense. But now we get the Chiefs, which means we could add Patrick Mahomes to this team, our QB. This team is honestly still stacked. Who has the best offensive line we can get? I'm still going to get the 49ers, and we are going to be able to add George Kittle. So, still happy about that. Okay, no matter what team we land on here, unless I get like a top three wide receiver, I have to see what their O-line is like. How do we keep getting the 49ers? How do we keep getting the 49ers? I am going to take their offensive line, though, for Trent Williams this time. And our final position for now, we are going to have our wide receiver three. And we are going to get the Philadelphia Eagles. We got such lucky spins. I don't think we got one bad team. We could add A.J. Brown. And here is the offense for this team that is absolutely unbelievable, especially at the skill position players. We could use some help in the interior offensive line. That's probably what we're going to address next. Then on defense, we obviously see the two studs, Nick Boza and Fred Warner, along with some other good players. We could also upgrade the defense. And since we are using the San Francisco 49ers team for this, we'll be playing the Bears in week one. So let's take a look for a player two of the San Francisco 49ers defense, and we'll probably scout this Bears team a little bit to see which players we want to take from the Chicago Bears team if we are to beat them. And after we watch this first defensive drive, then we're going to jump over and check out the offense's first drive, which I'm very excited for with all the new additions. Don't let him pick up the first, and there's a nice tackle. Definitely would like to get Nick Bosa some help on the defensive line here. Oh, they just bit on that Justin Fields read option, but then they come up to the line of scrimmage to make a huge tackle. Messed up and skipped the first couple offensive plays on accident, but take a look at all the skill position players with all the stars, all the X factors, and Mahomes is going to use his elite tight end. It's not Kelsey, but it is George Kittle. We have Barkley, I think, lineup at the bottom too, and then you have Jonathan Taylor in the backfield. Just so many pieces here for Mahomes to use, and he is going to go. So number 81, that's going to be the other tight end, not George Kittle. That's going to be Tyler Croft with the catch right there. And now we have all the X-Factors, all the superstars out here. It's going to be a touch pass to A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown going to break a tackle. You know he's great after contact, and he'll pick up five. You got Cup at the bottom. You have Jefferson at the top. You have Kittle next to him. You have Trent Williams at the left tackle spot. And wide open is Cooper Cup for the first touchdown of the year. Let's go ahead and we'll just sim to the end of this game. It's 21-10 Niners, but the Bears actually are putting up a fight here. Don't tell me we have a chance to lose the first game of the season. Nope, it's 28-16 Niners, 35-16 Niners. And we are going to take the win. And let's make our first improvement to this team. You can never have too many good safeties, so we are going to take Eddie Jackson from the Chicago Bears. Our next two games are going to be against Seattle and the Denver Broncos. Let's see if we can win both of these games. And we are able to beat the Seattle Seahawks 38-13 and beat the Broncos 42-23. And from the Seattle Seahawks, we are going to go with strong safety Jamal Adams. Then for the Denver Broncos, we're going to go ahead and take Patrick Sertan. And in week four is our biggest matchup of the year. If we can win this, we can take Aaron Donald from the Rams. If we can get Aaron Donald to pair with Nick Boza, that is going to be a huge pickup for this team. We have the outside defensive players we need. We have the corners. We have the safeties. Now we need the D-line. This is also the best team we've played this season through four weeks. So this is a huge, 
game, especially for the division and hopefully going 20 and up. Real quick, everyone, before we get back into the video, only about 4% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing, make sure to subscribe to the channel, but let's get back into the video. What I would like to upgrade going forward is obviously still that interior offensive line. So I'm hoping we play a team with a really good center soon. Not sure who's on the schedule. Cooper Cup's going to pick up a first. Mahomes, play action. Where is he looking? He has all day to throw. The offensive line is actually playing really good. And Cooper Cup is just shredding his former team. Now we have a first and goal from the two. We have Jonathan Taylor in the backfield. Those numbers are mixing me up. We have Jonathan Taylor in the backfield. Stretch run to the right. And that's going to be a touchdown. Or stretch run to the left. That's a touchdown. But this team is just dominating the LA Rams. Shutting them out 34 to nothing. Is it going to end a shutout? It is. And Aaron Donald is going to be coming to the team. Through four games, no changes to the offense yet. But still a stacked offense. However, the defense has gotten a huge boost at a lot of positions. Patrick Sertan, corner one. Eddie Jackson and Jamal Adams at the safety spots. And obviously Aaron Donald. Next, we're going to get the Carolina Panthers and the Atlanta Falcons at weeks five and six. Six. Let's see if we go 6-0. And, oh. and we are able to win both games by knocking off the Panthers 24-19 and the Falcons 28-14. From the Carolina Panthers, I went ahead and I took Brian Burns. We finally make our first addition for the offense, adding right guard 91 overall Chris Lindstrom. Week 7, we get the 4-2 Kansas City Chiefs. And then in week 8, we are going to get the Los Angeles Rams again. Without Mahomes, the Chiefs offense is not very good. We knock them off 19-7. And then the Rams, we are going to knock off 31-17. Call me crazy, but from the Chiefs, instead of trying... Travis Kelsey or Chris Jones. I'm going with an offensive lineman, center Creed Humphrey. And at this point, there's only one more really good player to take from the Rams. Obviously, we're going to go with Jalen Ramsey. Here's what the offense looks like with the new and improved offensive line. And the defense at this point is just absurdly good. I don't know how anybody scored on this defense. And going into our bye week in week nine, Mahomes has thrown for almost 1,900 yards, 14 touchdowns, and five picks. Mahomes might not have as many passing yards as he normally would, but that's because the run game is very good. Barkley almost six 600 yards rushing through eight games. Mahomes actually has 300 yards himself. And then Jonathan Taylor, 183. After the bye, I simulated our next four games and we suffered our first loss. The perfect season isn't going to happen, but we can still win the Super Bowl. We beat the Chargers, 31-28. We won against the Saints, 42-14. We beat the Dolphins, 33-28, but it's the Cardinals that beat us, 28-17. From the Chargers, I had to take Nick Boza's brother. We have to bring the Bosa brothers back together, so we're taking Joey. From the New Orleans Saints, we're getting another offensive lineman, Ryan. And Ramchek. And for the Miami Dolphins, I have to reunite Patrick Mahomes with Tyreek Hill. However, because we lost one game, we have to send away three of the original players we had from our team. So let's see what the wheel is going to have. We have to spin this one three times. Who is the first player we are going to have to trade over to the Cardinals? We are going to have to trade our offensive line, which is going to be Trent Williams. Now we can trade any player we want on the O-line if we happen to land on that one again. This one's going to hurt too. We're going to have to trade tight end George Kittle. Final player we have to get rid of. I took tight end off the wheel because obviously we don't have another tight end. I mean, we do, but it's not George Kittle. We picked George Kittle the challenge, but we have to get rid of Saquon Barkley, our running back one. And this one's definitely going to hurt Kittle, Barkley, and Trent Williams for a seventh round draft pick. But I do think we do want to play in the Cardinals again at some point this season. Hopefully get one of these guys back. And because we cannot have a perfect regular season, I am going to skip to the playoffs and see what happens. And in our last five games, we actually lost two. We lost to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady. And we lost to the Cardinals again. However, we did win over the Seahawks, Commanders, and the Raiders. So first things first, we need to find out which three players we're trading to the Buccaneers. Our first spin is going to be our wide receiver one, which is going to be Justin Jefferson. Let's see what our second spin is going to be. It's going to be our running back one we're gonna lose Saquon Barkley the only positive is that we do have three teams we can steal players from before we trade with the Cardinals again and the final player that Tom Brady is gonna be able to add to his team it's gonna be our wide receiver two which is sadly going to be Cooper Cup I didn't expect that to do this more than once I thought we might have a chance at a perfect season I did not expect us to lose three games so we have Jefferson up and I might have said Barkley when I spun the wheel but Jonathan Taylor going to the Buccaneers since we lost Saquon Barkley and Jonathan Taylor we're gonna add another elite running back from the Raiders Josh Jacobs we lost Lost two of our elite wide receivers, so we're going to add one back with DK Metcalf. Since we traded Trent Williams and we don't have a left tackle, we are going to take one from the Washington Commanders. And this is what our offense looks like before we make the trade with the Arizona Cardinals again. We have Tyreek, DK, and AJ Brown as our wide receivers. 
Josh Jacobs at the running back spot. Mahomes at the QB, obviously. Offensive line is still really good. No Kittle, no Trent Williams. The defense, though, has gotten better since the last time we've seen it. Completely intact still. X-Factor red everywhere and superstars. Three more players, though, still need to go to Arizona. I added three defense spots because we have so many defensive players on this team. I feel like it makes sense, and we are going to have to trade a defensive player. As long as we keep Patrick Mahomes, that's all that matters to me. And we are going to get lucky and trade our running back two, who I think is Davis Price. And the final player we are going to be trading before the playoffs is going to be another defensive player. So in this trade, we have Nick Bowes, the defensive player that started this team with us. We have Davis Price, the running back two. And we have Eddie Jackson, the first defensive player that we took from a different NFL team. The Cardinals have taken six players from us. They're getting this last trade from us. And now we go to the playoffs. Even though we didn't go perfect and we did have three losses in the regular season, we did get a buy in the NFC and we get the 10 and 7 Packers in the divisional. It has been a while since we've checked in on this team on offense, but we are in the playoffs now in the divisional round. We have Mahomes, we have Tyreek, we have AJ, you have Tyler Croft now as the tight end one. I forgot who else we have on this team, Josh Jacobs, still a good amount of players to win a Super Bowl. The defense is basically completely intact still. So all the offense has to do is be good enough and not make mistakes like that with Tyreek Hill fumbling and allowing the Packers. Don't tell me they're bringing this back for six. That is exactly what they could not do if they wanted to win this game. And we have a good game here. It is 21-17 Packers with the 49ers making it 21-20, 23-21. They need one more score because Aaron Rodgers just drove down the field and I wanted to jump in, but the Niners are actually able to score that touchdown. They go for two, make it a field goal game. And with 32 seconds left, this has to be a field goal here, I would imagine. Or maybe a run to put them into better field goal range. We might have an overtime game in our first playoff game here for the 49ers. Aaron Jones will pick up the first, and here comes the timeout. And are we getting overtime or are the 49ers go into the next round? Kick is up, and it's good we have overtime. We have playoff overtime rules. The Packers got the ball first, and they are first and goal already from the four. This would be a disappointment to not even make it past the divisional round. And that is exactly what could happen right now if the 49ers don't answer with a touchdown. But now it's up to Mahomes and this 49ers offense that has put up 31 points, but they need a touchdown. Biggest drive of the entire year. If we can't even make it out of the divisional round, that is just insanity. And we have Tyree Kill making it a third and short. Mahomes and the offense though have done their job. I am surprised that the defense gave up 38 points as Mahomes is going to go for another read option. And he looks kind of gassed. When is Mahomes going to air it out though? When does that open up the play action? Right here, maybe. Play action Mahomes. Pressure's coming. He'll throw it to the sideline. He's got Kyle Juszczyk who steps out of bound before picking up the first. Mahomes and the Niners are driving all the way down the field right now at the 31. Mahomes is going to throw. Mahomes looking for Tyreek out in the backfield. It's a foot race to the end zone, and he'll be tackled at the 8. At Cooper Cup and Barkley at the beginning of the year. Now it's Tyreek Hill and Josh Jacobs, and Mahomes has to be careful. He'll get to the 5. Second and goal from Mahomes. Looking for the end zone. He's got Tyreek, and will they go for the tie or the win? We'll jump in for this extra point. Extra point to tie this game to make it 38-38. That is a drive by Mahomes, and we have a tie game. Are the Packers going to end the 49ers' dreams right here in the divisional round? It is first and 10 from San Francisco's 40. This defense with Donald, with Nick Boza, not here anymore actually, Joey Boza, a ton of superstars. They cannot stop this team with Jalen Ramsey, Sertan. Just they can't stop Aaron Rodgers, and he's at the 17. And this is it for what I was hoping was going to be a perfect 20-0 Super Bowl champion team. The Packers and Mason Crosby have a chance to end that right now. Kick is up. And it's good. 49ers lose. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, let me know what challenge, what video do you want to see next. Peace.